Hey guys, what's up? Jacob Perry, founder of Patagonia Bee Products, back with you for this vlog we're doing on uh, beekeeping, honey, Patagonia, and all things to do with our uh, startup. So check it out. This is episode 41, and I'm going to talk to you today about what bees do when it rains. There's a lot of um, this is a question a lot of people ask because they're trying to figure out how bees deal with raindrops that are almost as big as them. Uh, can you imagine walking down the street and raindrops as big as you start? pelting you. <laughs> I don't think you make it very far um, other than being completely soaked. But bees have to fly. Um, so not only would they get wet, but they have to fly. Um, raindrops as big as them coming down at the force of you know gravity, the speed of what, 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 what gravity will send them at, uh, are pretty, is pretty precarious. So, um, and then bees also will lose body heat a lot faster than we will because of their, um, you know, their their surface area to body mass, a ratio that's it's a lot bigger than ours. So what do bees do when it rains? Well, they actually avoid the rain. They sense the air pressure, air pressure dropping before it rains, they go back to the hive and they hang out. And um, they huddle if it's getting cold, right? They huddle and, and, and buzz, vibrate, right? And stay, stay warm. Um, now, if, um, if they get caught in the rain, they're kind of stuck and they can't fly. And so a lot of beekeepers or just people who, who will be out kind of observing nature in the rain might have caught onto this a lot of times. You can go up and see bees that have been caught. They're on flowers, they're on plants, and they've been caught in the rain. And they're just hanging out, just staying still. They can't really go anywhere. They're cold. They're too cold to fly. They're wet. Um, and uh, when I was visiting one of my beekeepers, Carmen, in Patagonia, uh, we were visiting some some of her hives and it was kind of threatening to rain and then not raining and threatening to rain and not raining. So the bees were kind of a little confused by what to do. They were going out, they were coming back. Uh, they got caught in a couple down uh, downpours. And we went up to some of the tiaka flowers, which is one of our newest varieties of honey. And uh, we, we saw a few bees, right? And they're wet, they're just hanging on the flowers, defenseless and unable to fly. And so she goes up and I'm asking about them, well, you know, what's going on with them? Are they going to be okay? Are they going to live, etc. She's like, yeah, they'll be fine. They, they have to warm up. They have to dry off. They'll be fine. They'll make it back. And she goes up and she just goes, <sighs> just warming them up with her breath. And sure enough, after a couple times of doing this, the bee takes off. Pretty cool, huh? And so what are the bees doing in the winter? It's actually kind of the, um, the same thing. If it's below about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the bees are not going out of the hive. Um, so in a lot of places, the bees aren't going out the whole winter. Um, and how do they survive? Well, they're eating their honey supplies. Same thing when it rains, by the way, in the summer, they eat their honey supplies. And this is why, if you remember us saying we don't get certain harvests certain years or certain harvests are depleted, it's because there might be a lot of rain in Patagonia during those seasons, and the bees have to uh, eat the honey that they've made from those specific flowers. And then when it stops raining, they're able to go get more nectar. But maybe by the time it stops raining... Uh, different trees will start to bloom and the previous ones will stop. So um, the same thing in the winter. The bees are, are huddling, trying to stay as warm as they can. And they're rotating, by the way, who's inside of this huddle, this, this ball, and who's on the outside so that because the, the outside is colder, right, because of the air. And um, they're just trying to keep everybody alive as best they can, especially the queen. And they're eating all their honey. This is why this is why beekeepers have to leave a certain amount of honey available for the bees in the winter. And a lot of beekeepers will actually feed the bees, uh, supplement their food with um, sugar water, um, which isn't ideal, but it keeps them alive, right? And some of them will supplement it with um, kind of these protein cakes that uh, will also have some some sugar source to them and other nutrients. So there's that. That's what bees do in the when it rains and in the winter. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Keep asking questions. I get questions from some of you guys, and that's where I come up with these things. I want to answer all your curiosities. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram. And um, if you sign up for the newsletter on the website, you'll always get special deals. Cheers.